Hi everybody, Tashi here from Pixie Mommy's Reborns. Welcome back to my channel and to all of you new, hello and welcome. So I have a little treat for you today. I'm answering a uh, very often asked question and that is what is the difference between a reborn baby doll and a full bodied silicone doll? So I'm gonna answer that question and show you the difference between the two. But before we get started, I wanna remind you all to go hit that subscribe button now and the notification bell so that you never miss another video. Also, my channel has a membership. So if you're interested in joining the Pixie Squad, it is $1.99 a month. That's all inclusive. You can cancel at any time. You must be 18 years or older. But literally for less than the price of a cup of coffee a month, got lots going on in there, exclusive live streams, exclusive content and other perks. Check it out, especially if you are uh, looking to learn a bit more and have uh, your questions answered in more detail and all that. So anyways, we have here baby Athena. Okay, and she is a full-bodied silicone baby. Um, Athena is a preemie-sized uh, baby. And then we have, unwrap him, we have Stellan here. And he is a reborn baby doll. So Stellan is the Levi sculpt by Bonnie Brown. And... Um, Oh my goodness, he's he's a he's one of my favorite uh reborns and Athena here is the pearl sculpt by Noe Art Dolls. So, I'm going to get y'all started. Just I'm going to change baby Athena cuz I have something that I want to change her in that's new. So, I'm going to just start by undressing her so that you all can see the difference so right off the bat there is a difference in the medium um a silicone doll is made of silicone it's soft and squishy and a reborn baby and what i'll do is i'm gonna wind up taking you all off the the uh, tripod to get you a closer look, but a reborn baby doll is made of vinyl. It's hard, well, it's not hard, but it's, you know, it's vinyl, it doesn't squish. Um, and a reborn baby doll has a vinyl head, okay, vinyl head and vinyl limbs and a cloth body. So, actually, we'll undress Stellan. Wasn't, I didn't grab a new outfit for him. Wasn't planning on undressing him, but I think probably, you'll have to excuse me leaning over here. It's best to show you all that really, you know, don't know the difference to be able to see the difference, okay? So this is a cloth body and he has full limbs, the, the limbs go up, they attach to the cloth body, all right, and the head attaches to the cloth body. Now, Athena here, being she is a full-bodied silicone, her entire body is made of silicone. She is anatomically correct. The full-bodied silicones are usually anatomically correct. Um, so if you're adverse to seeing any fake baby bits, then you might want to tune out for this part and skip back in a minute or two. Um, but she is, her entire body is made of silicone. Um, cause I get this question, I get it, well, I do get it here on YouTube. I get it quite a bit. On Instagram I get it from what I can see of just scanning through uh, DMs that I that I'm just not able to take like private messages that I not able to take 
I know a lot of people contact me uh, thinking that I am an artist or that I have babies to sell or they would just like help and guidance. They want to buy a reborn or they want to buy a silicone and they want help and guidance. Um, so folks, if you're looking for that, I don't provide like individual mentoring and support and stuff like that. It's impossible for me. This is my hobby here too. And, um, I run my own business full time and you know, all that stuff. So it's not, you know, it's not possible for me to do that. However, um, that's part of the reason why I did create my channel membership. Um, because at least in there, it's a, you know, group of us and there's collectors from every end of the spectrum from newbies to, uh, you know, middle to very seasoned collectors, artists. So great place to network and definitely, um, hear a lot of chats about, you know, different artists and where we're getting dolls from and pricing and, you know, just all that stuff. So let me give you a good look at Stellan. So the hair on them is rooted, um, which the artist takes, you know, a rooting needle and roots the hair often one hair at a time or just a few hairs at a time. So it's a lot of painstaking work <laughs> that goes into making any of these dolls and they are you know painted uh you know by the artists and uh painted and matted and it's just you know many many hours of labor and takes time and talent and practice you know to to paint these dolls um silicone the same silicones are you know painted and she needs some powdering, finally. <laughs> um, we'll do powdering a silicone and powder baby Athena next. And, uh, you know, they're rooted as well. Now, the difference in the rooting on the silicone babies is, and she also has some painted hair on the front of her, uh, too. Some Lanuga, Lanuga, or just some extra hair there. Um, on the silicone dolls, uh, in the reborn dolls, the inside of the head, um, they seal the hair with glue. Um, whereas silicone, obviously, there's, they're solid, so they can't seal the hair from the inside. So you do have to be a little bit more careful with your silicone baby doll's hair. <clears throat> now, lots of full-bodied silicones have uh, an open mouth. Um, it's definitely a feature that I look for in my silicone baby doll. She is a crier, so she's, you know, got a, she's got a beak, a crying little beak, and she's got a tongue in there and gums. And some of them have drink and wet systems, which is inside them. You can't see it. Um, but you could feel if you went in the back of the throat, you could feel the tube and the tube goes down all the way through and then of course the artist does it so that you can't see it on the other end but then the water that you're feeding with the bottle well hopefully water because that's all you should be using um would uh you know come out and wet the diaper so that's the the diaper area I don't think I have a preemie diaper up here to uh, change her into because we're I'm almost, yeah, I don't. So we'll have to put that one back on. We're almost out of this room up here. So um, she does not have a drink and wet. My other silicone uh, Oscar that many of you that have been with my channel, of course, you know Oscar. He does have a drink and wet. He has a spine. <laughs> um, he has armatures. He's got, you know, lots of different features. Um, and you can, you know, some get some of them with um features i mean look at it. she's incredible look at those little feetsies um you know but see the softness and you know the they they wiggle and they squish and they move now of course there's different grades of silicone there's different blends of silicone she's done in a nice um soft what they call the marshmallow blend uh silicone lots of artists have their own blend of the 
silicone that they use. So um, let me put you all up there. Um, obviously, as far as uh, cost-wise, um, the Reborns tend to run less expensive than silicones, although I've seen very high-end Reborns go uh well up you know into the prices of full body silicones it just real. it this is art and that's a, a question that i get often is how much do they cost or how much did your doll cost or you know stuff like that and honestly it's it well first off to ask someone how much they paid for their doll is just kind of rude <laughs> um you know we don't go up to people asking them how much they pay for their belongings you know um so and often collectors you know don't want to share the the you know what value of their collection is in their home and etc but um and then also and I just get the question of in general people want to know <clears throat> How much do they cost? Um, and it is such a wide range because it just depends on the artist. It depends on, uh, you know, the, the artist, the skill of the artist, the level of realism usually plays a lot into that. So when you see them like where you can't tell the difference, they look like a living baby, it's probably going to cost, you know, quite a lot of money. Um, silicone, is, uh, guess on the, uh, I, I don't even know. I mean, we, we do talk about this more in membership. We're a little more open. It's a little more difficult out here on YouTube because nobody kind of wants to be necessarily pinned down to that. Uh, but you know, uh, the silicones are going to run just rough, roughly, and it's a huge range from maybe like 2000 to 20,000. I mean, you get a huge, huge range in there. Um, you know, perhaps you could say the average range would be between five and 8,000, but you can get them less expensive it also depends you can get a kit which is um you know some artists do kits which is the the uh the blank silicone doll like unpainted unfinished and then you can you know send that that uh doll off and some people do that so you can certainly get you know a kit and in the between two and three thousand and then you're you know, looking for an artist and things like that. As far as Reborns, it's the same huge, you know, range, but, you know, you're talking about maybe from 300 to 5,000, you know, um, 5,000 is on the higher and I mean, I've seen them even go up to eight or so, probably even more. Um, but, on the average, um, to start really, really getting into any, any sort of realism, you're looking at probably 500 and up, five, 800 and up, you can probably get yourself a, you know, nicely decent painted, uh, reborn, um, just to give, uh, some sort of ballpark, because I know that's what folks are looking for, and, you know, don't, crucify me everyone that you know I, it, I'm doing my best to just you know help people um either way it's a huge <laughs> it's a huge <laughs> pill to swallow when we get you know get to the prices on these um it really is um because you come into it not knowing what these dolls are and thinking well uh, uh you know a hundred and fifty dollars is a whole lot of money for a doll, you know, like, so until you, you know, become familiar with this art and this hobby, it's, it's, yeah, it's a lot, you know, we all came in kind of the same way, like, what, <laughs> you know, anyway, but let me see what else I could tell you about the differences, um, between the reborn dolls and the silicone dolls, uh, the reborn dolls I would say are definitely more um, readily available. It's, they're usually where um, folks start in the hobby. Um, 
is, you know, with a reborn doll, um, it's less of an expense. You can kind of see if you, if you're even going to enjoy the hobby, if you really love these dolls. And I think the more a collector gets immersed in the hobby, just like any hobby, the more they kind of upgrade their collection. It's like anything else as you would go along in a hobby. Um, now, as far as where do you go to get these dolls is another big, biggie, big question. And I will say honestly that most, a lot of, you know, collectors, YouTubers aren't going to say, oh, just go buy from this artist, <laughs> you know, um, because then if you're not happy, you don't like it, something goes wrong, and or you face if people don't really understand the cost, then they're, then the, it, the, you know, the artist is getting flooded with, you know, inquiries of, of people that aren't prepared to buy, which remember, they're kind of private, uh, working for themselves, you know, type, of uh business is like so it's not like they have staff to to field inquiries and stuff like that so not only are they putting the countless hours into the work on all these dolls um you know they're answering obviously you know they're selling their dolls um so we don't want to like flood our favorite artists and things like that so the best way really if you're if is to just kind of stick around, pay attention a little bit. And if you see, you know, someone on Facebook or Instagram or on YouTube that you really um, like their collection and would like to know, you know, it's, it's just easy to read into it. Most collectors, I certainly can tell you I do, every video I make, I introduce the doll I have and I tell you what sculpt it is and what artist I got it from. So, well, that's a good indication of what artists I like, <laughs> you know, so it's just a matter of, um, you know, just looking at it that way, um, you can see the artist and now Stellan, I didn't mention, um, he was painted by Pearl at Happiness Nursery in Australia. Um, I was his third mommy. Um, so I did have him rerouted, um, but that's you know, his, his painting is done by Pearl. And, um, I'm trying to think what else I could answer for you all. Um, I've got the question in the silicones about the drink and wet. Well, do they, do they really dirty their diaper? Well, I don't know what somebody's definition of dirty is, but the water goes, you know, from with the bottle goes in the mouth, goes through the tube and comes out into the diaper. So, I guess that would be a yes. <laughs> you know, they, and you can also um, uh, pretend to feed a, uh, a silicone baby with a fake bottle. Um, I definitely have videos, a recent video up on um, how to make the, yourself a, a fake bottle to seal the nipple and make the fake formula. And that's what a lot of us do because then you can, with the Reborns, you can, let's see, let me have, yeah, I have a bottle here. Like here's an example of a fake bottle. So this is sealed. So with the Reborns, you just kind of press the nipple on their face so it looks like you're, you're feeding them. And with a silicone baby, I put the lubricant on, her passy has some, I'll take it off here. I put the lubricant on the the ends to protect her, um, uh, you know, the mouth from any tears or paint wear. And obviously a silicone with an open mouth, you can feed like that, which you can all see, which um, I, uh, it's kind of more satisfaction when they have like an open mouth for the realism. You can also find, um, and then of course they can take a passy, uh, goes into their mouth with a reborn doll. Um, if you get a reborn baby, I'm just trying to find a sample passy here to show you all. 
the one that has a magnet. Okay, so if you get a reborn baby that has a magnet inside the mouth, you can use a magnetic pacifier. So that's a pacifier that's modified. The, the nipple is cut off. It has a magnet and the doll has a magnet inside its face. So the passy goes on and it looks like they have a passy in their mouth. Some reborn sculpts have open mouths as well. So you can put a passy in or sometimes you can modify the passy depending on how deep the mouth is and cut it and then it you know fits in without having to have a magnet so it just depends on the sculpt because there's hundreds if not thousands of you know reborn sculpts out there i recommend um finding the sculpt that you like first um like and kind of figuring out your preferences like would you prefer a doll with open eyes, a doll with closed eyes? Some people are very particular about that. Like some people just really, really want a sleeping baby. They don't like the open eyes or vice versa. Um, size of baby. Do you want a preemie size, a newborn size, a zero to three month size? Uh, a, more of a six month size or a toddler you know they do in the reborn dolls make toddler size I have a toddler uh, he's downstairs my Liam sculpt but I just actually these are the only couple to, I carried these dolls up here because I'm in the middle of moving rooms but anyway um, I hope that gives you all a you know good clue of the difference between a vinyl reborn doll and a full-bodied silicone baby doll. Then you'll see um, <sighs> mixes, I guess, in the, fa in the way that like you could get a partial silicone doll, meaning the, the, the um, body is vinyl. I mean, the body is cloth, sorry, like a reborn but the limbs are silicone. The head and the limbs are silicone. That will be called a partial silicone doll. Um, you can also get a uh, vinyl that has a full body torso. So the vinyl doll would have a torso that's like a, in a, that goes onto the body. There's the cloth underneath that goes onto the body and it's usually anatomically correct or you can get a reborn with a belly plate um so it's just the front plate the front piece is vinyl so that you can put it on them for photos um some of them come gender neutral some of them come anatomically correct it just depends on um the sculpt or you can buy like a generic one that goes with any doll and have it painted with your doll um so if you want that experience of the full body but you're not prepared to go into to silicone um that's an option there for the reborn dolls is to get a uh, belly plate or a full full body vinyl it's still gonna have cloth underneath now a lot of people think of that as oh well I still want a silicone because I want to be able to get the doll wet or bathe the doll. And I can tell you that it's definitely my personal recommendation as a collector not to bathe your silicone dolls. They're not meant to be uh, bathed. And especially your higher end silicone dolls that it you... <laughs> I mean, you know, it's it's paint on vinyl and matting on vinyl. You're going to wear the, the matting, uh, the paint, and can possibly cause damage of the paint to, you know, lift and things. So you're spending thousands and thousands of dollars on a doll. I would say if, you know, you want that experience, um, you know, to go with, you know, I guess something less expensive. I don't even know. Really wouldn't want to, you know, ruin any artist's work. So, uh, you know, but there's other like options out in baby dolls. That's not like a silicone or a reborn. That's, you know, 
inexpensive um, ways if you're interested in kind of doing that. I know that some collectors will disagree with me strongly. There are collectors that do bathe their dolls. Um, there's some artists that say it's okay. Uh, and I have my own personal kind of thoughts on that. But that's, you know, we're here sharing our <laughs> like a, own opinions and stuff. And um, I only can give you the best advice that I can and my opinion as a collector and in my experience. Um, so if, if that's what you're looking for, a full body silicone for because you want to bathe a doll, I would look for more of like a baby doll and not get into like the, the works of art where you're getting into an artist sculpt and painting and all that stuff, if that makes sense. Um, and I'm not knocking any collectors that pay their dolls. Like, I don't want to go through that again. It has nothing to do with that. I'm just trying to give my viewers they, that, that come and ask me questions and talk about why they are looking for, you know, certain types of dolls. I just want to give them the best advice that I know how. And that's, that's all I can do. So there's baby Athena and baby Stellan. We're going to find Athena a little headband. Let me see. I think I have the ones Auntie Patty made separately. Yeah, except for this one. Let me see, I don't have a lot up here right now. Um, but I want to put her a little headband because she kind of got a gender neutral little outfit on. This is a Carter's outfit. Um, and it's a, it's ribbed and, uh, it's kind of chilly out. So I figured something warm would be nice. And let me see as far as that's a little fancy, maybe that for a pop of pink. That's a little summery. That's kind of more, this is cute too. And it matches there. Um, and I'm going to put her Gumi kids booties back on. So they have no color in that. I don't know. There's pink nowhere else. So maybe I'll use the beige because it'll just, I don't know. I really am bad at making decisions. Seriously. We'll go with the pink for now. <laughs> All right, folks. Well, thanks for sticking in here with me. And um, to all my fellow collectors, season collectors out there, or anyone that would like that to add anything about the difference between um, uh, reborn uh, baby dolls and full-bodied uh, silicone baby dolls, please feel free to, in the comments, uh, if I missed anything or you can think of anything um, that you think... Uh, like a complete, um, I tried to make this video geared towards like a complete, you know, newbie that is just stepped into the hobby and is asking the question because they just literally don't know the difference um, between the dolls because that would be the first place to start is to learn the dolls, learn kind of the difference, know what you're looking at. I will add this to a playlist that I have that's up on my uh, channel you can just go to playlists and it's an introduction to the uh, reborn hobby um, and you can find more videos in there helpful videos in there um, for newbies um, if you're diving in and just getting started in the hobby and again I do encourage you um, if you would like to support my channel and become a member you'll definitely get a lot out of um, joining the membership and just something nice, fun to do to make some friends and network over the winter as well. All right, everyone. So thanks for joining me today. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And until next time, God bless.